first off, you can teach AI all about you, especially if you're in business, you have a website, you've done talks, you've done all sorts of things. You can teach AI all about you. It can be as simple as asking, like for example, chat GPT, what do you need to know about me? And it will come up with a list of questions for you to answer. And it will start sounding like you as you teach it when you're asking it to do different types of tasks. Well, welcome back to the Professional Rule Breaker Podcast. I'm your host, Kathy Walterhouse, and today I am here to shake things up in sales and marketing, just like always, right? So today we're going to be diving into something huge, AI in sales. So AI is not a buzzword. It's a game changer. And I'm going to tell you, the AI revolution is here. So it's time to get real about it because it's not just coming. It's already here and it's big. I want you to think about 200 billion big by the year 2025. And Microsoft recently put another 13 billion in an investment in open AI, which you've probably heard as chat GPT. And that's not all. They actually now have the founders of chat GPT, Sam Altman and Greg Brockman. They have now joined Microsoft. So I want you to think about that this is like the internet in the early days, in which when the internet came out, everybody was kind of like, I don't know if that's really going to be used. Uh, I'm a little afraid of it. Um, that's not just for me. That's not, that's just for, that's, it's a fad. It's going to go away. And guess what? Now, can we even get through the day without using the internet? And that's what I'm telling you. AI is here. So I want you to think about AI as your new business BFF. And I want to talk about what AI can actually do for your business. Because imagine having an all-star team, but it's just you and AI. So let me give you some examples. Do you happen to have like a gap in your skill set? I mean, AI can help you with that. I'm going to, let me give you an example. Like for me, I wanted to have a brand new logo. I can't draw and I can't, <laughs> I'm not techy enough to try to figure it out in some of these drawing softwares that are out there. So I actually went to AI and used Dolly, D-A-L-L-E. And I was able to get a brand new logo that I love that you're going to be seeing soon on my website. I'll give you another example. I wanted to have a press release for something that had happened in my business. I didn't know how to write a press, press release. And so what did I do? I went ahead and looked to see if there was an AI tool for press release. And surely there is. And quite frankly, I even think ChatGPT, if I'd gone into ChatGPT, it probably could help me write a press release as well. So what else can AI do for you? Market research. AI can take up all these insights that it would just need to take you like ages to find, especially if you're a small business or a solopreneur. I mean, some of these applications in AI can include things like conversation intelligence, automated lead generation, social media management, content creation, which we'll talk a, a little bit about that in just a minute, 
customer relationship management, email marketing automation. So that's a lot, isn't it? It's a mouthful too. It can help you with every single one of those and a lot more. They can also help you amp up your customer service. I want you to start thinking about personalized, spot-on interactions every single time. I bet you right now, you have already had some sort of customer service interaction with a bot. And sometimes they're not great. And maybe you don't even get the answer that you're looking for. But that is going to get better. And it's going to really help make things more efficient as well. You'll be able to get quicker answers. And on the back end, the provider is going to be able to help you faster as well. Now, I know I mentioned content creation. I mean, think of AI as your own personal copywriter. It can help you write some of your content. Now you're probably thinking, yeah, it's going to sound off. It's not going to sound like me. Uh, I mean, people are going to know. Well, there's a couple of tricks to it. First off, you can teach AI all about you, especially if you're in business, if you have a website, you've done talks, you've done all sorts of things. You can teach AI all about you. It can be as simple as asking, like for example, chat GPT, what do you need to know about me? And it will come up with a list of questions for you to answer. And it will start sounding like you as you teach it when you're asking it to do different types of tasks, like, for example, challenges, webinars, emails, courses, marketing. It can help you write hooks. It can create something called GPTs, and you can kind of think of a GPT as a model. I just recently wrote a couple of GPTs, kind of just for fun to kind of play around. And again, I am not techie whatsoever. (laughs) and I was able to get a financial evaluation type tool for entrepreneurs to try to figure out how many, they want to sell X amount of dollars, how many leads are are they going to need, how many events are they going to have to do, maybe how much money do they have to spend on social media and marketing as well. So it can be something really really cool. And then I did a fun one for my son that has to do with golf and golf courses and how far things are per hole. So there's a lot and it's still in a very early stage of development as far as what GPTs can do in this day and age. So like I said, let AI handle it. So what else can it do? It can help you become more efficient. Think about all those really time-consuming, busy work. Let AI handle it for you. I mean, simple things like calendar entries, scheduling meetings, routing documents, transferring data from one system to the other. All of that can be automated using AI. And that is just the tip of the iceberg. Now, I know a lot of people out there might be thinking, well, it's not safe. It's, um, the, we won't need humans anymore. That's not true. Really, I want you to think about humans and AI together as the dream team. And we can't forget, obviously, the human factor. But AI is incredible but it's not here to replace us. It's like having a super smart assistant that does all of your grunt work, leaving you to focus on what you do best. And what do you do best? We're talking about connecting with people, right? It's understanding their needs and building 
the gold mind re- relationships. Because we all know how important relationships are. Let AI take care of the data, the, in, uh, uh, the analytics, and let it have you bring the human touch. Because that is where the magic happens. So remember, people don't do business with people they don't like. They do business with those that they like and they trust. They don't do business with a robot. So you're not going to be replaced. So I want you to really embrace AI. I mean, that's my goal of this particular podcast episode is I want you to think about AI as your friend. So let me just sum it up. I mean, because AI really is not just a tool. It's your partner in crime in the world of sales. And for more of these tips and tricks, don't forget to check out the professional rule breaker.com. And we are going to have a resource called Making Sales Using AI. So be on the lookout for that and check in the show notes. But like I said, we're coming out with a report about making sales using AI. And then I want you to remember this, use AI to bolster your strengths. But always keep your human edge because there's only one of you and you have these special gifts that only you can offer out there and share it with the world. Don't keep them to yourself. Share your gifts with the world. Toss that stone into the water and create a ripple effect and make a big difference in this world. So. Catch you on the next podcast. Love you all.